Today I want to break down a little bit more about what I mean when I talk about using your intuition, walking into your space as though you're you're looking with a fresh pair of loving eyes. You could think of it as you're walking into your home from the place of your highest self, your most loving highest self. And you're also thinking about all five senses. What is the first thing that you see when you open your door? I once did a consultation in a couple's home and the first thing that uh, you would see every time you enter their home was a kitty litter. Having the kitty litter be the first thing that you see every time you enter your home, you gotta ask yourself, is that the energy that you want to, to be met with? When you bring more awareness to that and think about what, what is the metaphor for that, what is the metaphor for what you're attracting to you, <laughs> maybe uh, the, the kitty litter might go to another spot, right? Is the first thing that you see, is it something that brings your energy down? Does it get you to look up? Does it get you to look, you know, have an expansive view of your space? Are you being met with a wall? So that's the first thing you could notice. When you look out your windows, what do you see? Are your windows clear? Because in feng shui, windows represent your, your eyes, your, your view of the world and how the world sees you. It's connected to fire chi. And so the next sense, what do you smell? Right When you first enter your home or your room, does it smell uplifting? Does there a nice welcoming scent? Does it smell musty and old? Do you smell the kitty litter? <laughs> right? Does something smell like it's rotting? These are the, the cues that you're getting every single time you enter your home and they're going to impact how you feel. And going back to what you see, that fire chi, is there enough light and what is the quality of the light? Is it a bright, you know, jarring light? Is it a nice, soft, warm light? Is it a light that allows for everything to be well lit without being oppressive or anxiety provoking? So pay attention to the lighting and how that makes you feel. What is it that you hear when you enter your home? Can you hear the door? Is the door making a, like a creaking, moaning sound? That can be symbolic of your voice or a moaning voice, which can feel sad or off-putting to hear that kind of every single time you open your door. So bring in that WD-40 and oil, oil that baby up and then you have this really nice, smooth, flowing chi when you open your door. Make sure that your door opens at least 90 degrees. You want to have the smoothest uh, chi flow as possible. So getting rid of the things that may be behind the door so that there's enough space to allow the chi to fully enter your home or your room. You can do this room by room if you want. Also, when it comes to smell, consider the air quality. Is it dusty? Can you breathe easily? It's really positive to have your windows open to have the chi smoothly flowing. How do you feel when you walk in, right? Like, what do you feel? Do you feel warm? Do you feel cold? Are there places that feel inviting to sit you have a nice warm inviting couch a soft couch with soft pillows and throws that make you want to kind of get cozy do you have vibrant colors that lift up your chi that invigorate you when you want to get work done when you go into your bedroom do you feel fire energy do you feel a lot of fire chi is it's revving you up rather than helping you wind down or feel sensual. These are all some of the intuitive ways to work with the chi in your home that doesn't require you to make a purchase. I would say start with your front door, then go to the next room 
that is really calling your attention. Maybe it's a room that you do spend a lot of time in that you want to ensure that the chi is really strong and positive in that space, or maybe it's a room that's been neglected and you want to look at that neglected room with a fresh pair of eyes and bring in some new chi.